check, check, check one, two. All right, I want to make a quick video here about a custom study that I just wrote in Sierra, or for Sierra, I should say. Um, what it does is it automatically updates the value for the number of ticks for a volume profile as you switch from equity to equity without you having to go into the settings of the volume profile like here and then click and then edit the uh, ticks per volume bar. So this code automatically reads through depending on uh, you can it can be used across different charts as well. So this is a five minute up here. This is a daily here, um, and it is I have it running on both of these, and it is going to be automatically changing that value. So here on the daily, it's set at 150. On the five minute, it's set at 12 ticks per volume bar on the volume profile here. And then if I switch symbols to something like Tesla, um, and because it's outside of market hours, today's a Sunday. I actually need to hit. Uh, refresh otherwise it'd be refreshing on every tick but um, after I manually hit reset because there's no incoming ticks on a Sunday uh, you can see that it has updated this one was I forgot it was 12 now it's 138 for Tesla and then this one was I don't remember what it was but now it's 874 um, so and the and the, the reason you don't see anything is because the mo majority of the volume is done down here I just squeeze the squeeze the chart together to, to show that. Um, and then if I jump to something like Apple, and then I just do a manual refresh because there's no incoming ticks on a Sunday, same thing. You can see it automatically set this to a five and this one down to a 58. And so just to walk through the code, what it's actually doing is pretty straightforward and simple. You have the, uh, I have two inputs here on this, on this study. I'll show them to you right here. Uh, the first one is to select the study that you want to be targeting, which is the volume by profile. That's what we want to be targeting. The second one's this magic number multiplier, which controls the thickness of the bars. Um, so if you want really, really thin bars, what you could do on something like this, you could make it like 0 0.8 and it's going to get really, really thin. Or if you want it to be, or thick, and if you want it to be really thin, you can up it to like a two and it'll be thinner. Um, let's see here. I had it at, I think, 1.3. That was where I was at. Okay, there we go. So, um, so you can change the thickness of the bars there. Let's just step through. Those are the two inputs there. Um, I All I'm doing, really, is grabbing the maximum price value here, maximum minimum price value here. I'm calculating the difference on it, so it's chart dependent because the daily has different values for the max and min than the five minute. And I am just dividing that by that magic number multiplier, which I have as 1.3 on, on these charts for right now. That works for the size of window I'm using. You might need to adjust that a little bit differently. And all it's doing is dividing that by the uh, by the difference between the high and the low that's displayed on the price scale, that gives us the target number of ticks per bar, which I'm converting to an integer, and then assigning that over to the volume by price study, which um, is actually this, a separate study, the, the actual volume by price study, not the study that I wrote here. So this study is controlling, automatically changing the volume by price settings as I switch from symbol to symbol to symbol. So if I switch to BABA, you can see there it switched up to a 95 and here it switched to a to an 11 so anyways this is going to make things so much easier because now instead of having to update this every time i switch symbols for every chart uh, this study will automatically take care of all of that for me saving me a ton of time and uh, focus so hopefully that will uh, helps i will post a link to the github repo for this study so you can use it in your own uh, See your chart.